combat rank. Do you want to know how to rank up your combat rank as fast as possible? Well, I will show you. A lot of people do high res, and that's fair enough because because high res, you have to kill a lot of ships, and that increases your combat rank. But there is one slight problem: you can only get points depending on what what rank the other player or NPC is. Okay, ignore the player, but I don't know if the players help you rank up, but the NPC. And so if you kill like harmless and I'm on dangerous or deadly, then I'm gonna get little points. Whilst if I kill elite, I'm gonna get four points plus extra. So I'll be showing you how to well pretty much get to elite within a couple of weeks. It's very simple. So just follow this. I'll show you two outfitted ships that are best for this. You could use your own if you want, but I find both the Corvette and the the crate, everyone knows the crate. Twenty-six million nine hundred thousand out of my fleet carrier bank. We just love seeing that number go down every single week. So the two ships I'd recommend is the crate Mac 2 or the Federal Corvette. I personally enjoy the Federal Corvette because it's more it's A it looks sexier, B it's um, a lot stronger, it can kill these um, leads pretty much uh, very quickly and C it's, it's just more tanky you know like if I've got 8 shooting at me it's going to tank through it. Whilst the crate it is quick, removable, remove, oh sugar, um, it's renew removable Ren it can move very cool. So on hard points on my Corvette, I have a multi, I have two 4A multi cannons which are gimbaled, and on outfitting, I have put on efficient weapon because I, because you know, more damage. It just look, it's all blue and it looked really cool. I've got a 3C gimbaled as well, multi cannon, and then I've got two multi cannon AX, well, which are 2F, which are turreted. Which are pretty cool, and then I've got uh, well one multi cannons which are also turrets with uh, you know efficient weapon utilities shield boosters. I'd highly recommend for this. I'd highly recommend because these can save your life and Xeno scanners. By the way, we're not killing Thargoids. We're killing Thargoid scouts, which are literally I'd say easier than high res. People are like, ooh, Thargoids, no, no, I'm gonna click off. No, trust me. These Thargoid scouts are like killing a, f a bloody Sidewinder. It is, it's fun. It, it is. They, every single Thargoid scout counts as an elite kill. So, A, you're killing like a Sidewinder, which gives you elite. It's literally the quickest way to well uh, rank up. I went from expert to dangerous in both pretty much a week, not even. So, on core modules. I've got a reactive surface composite, which has a modification of heavy juice armor. Always get heavy juice armor on your um, on the, this whole thing. I don't know what it's called. Was it um, what the hell is this called? I know it's not called but composite. But just get heavy juice armor if you if you can modify it. Okay, this is a couple hundred mil. So if you haven't got that much money, just put like the well heavy duty or just military grade. I don't know. Just put just put like a good. Oh, hang on. Power plant, I went for 8A because an overcharged power plant. Because, you know, I want my weapons to absolutely shred through these Thargoid Scouts. As you can see down here, that um, 8A is definitely needed with the um, overcharge. So I've got a bit more to spare. First, it's got 7A with dirty drive tuning so I can go faster. Frame shift drive, increased frame shift drive range, 6A. Uh, life support, I went for 5D, make it a bit lighter because you know I don't really need it 5A because I'm in the core of it, I'm not going to die, am I? And if I do die, the rebuy cost isn't exactly cheap. <laughs> Ouch. Power distributor, but you can modify it for it. Maybe last longer, I don't, I don't care. It's, it's a life support, you know. <laughs> Modification power distributor, I've put weapon focused power distributor so I've got more recharging capacity on my weapons, which is needed, and sensors. I went for 8D, you can go for 8A, you know, sensors. Just don't go for the C, D, or E. No, no a C, B, or E, sorry. And optional. So I went for a bio shield generator at my uh, maximum because you want to have really good shield. Trust me, a good shield. I went for reinforced shields for the um, modification as well. I would go for Guardian because there's more 
tankier, but if you don't have Guardian, either a bioweave shield or a normal shield, if, if you can't be able to find a bioweave shield, which bioweave shields should come with pretty much all stations anyways. Shield bank. Well, I went for two shield banks for my other sevens, and then another shield bank for the six, and then I went for... You know, if you want to play with your friends or bring an NPC along, you can, but um, if you do bring an NPC, it takes half of your um, elite points. So I'd recommend don't bring in a fighter. Having a fighter hanger can be quite helpful if you want to go in your hanger and kill. It's quite fun. Or you can replace it with a shield bank. Either way, it's up to you. Hull reinforcement for 5D, and then module reinforcement. And then another hull reinforcement, and then another hull reinforcement. I think these are military ones. And then I went for a planetary vehicle hanger. If you want, you can replace that with a hull reinforcement or a... Um, what do you call it? A module reinforcement or shield bank. Either way will be good. And some of these, if you if you aren't lazy like me, because you know I can't, I can't be asked to bloody land on a fucking that stations. It takes too long. I just let my super crews do it. Uh, auto dock do it. What the hell am I on? A vehicle bay. Do I not have a scorpion? Have I literally put all? I've, I've bought five scorpions the other day. Why have I bought? I never use tape hands. I never ever use it. Why have I? <sighs> okay, well. On my hard points, I have three AX multi cannons and then two multi cannons, which are both gimbaled, and these are um, turreted. So, on utilities, also shoot boosters, and there was meant to be a Xeno scanner there. I have no idea. Where the hell's it gone? Okay, have one Xeno scanner here. Don't put all four shield boosters because you need to scan these Xenos. Core modules, I put. See, military grade composite, that's fine, that's, that's absolutely fine. And heavy duty uh, power plant, same as always. 7A overcharged power plant, thrusters 6A dirty tune driving. Why do I sound like I'm about to cry? Wait, my frame shift ain't even engineered. So, frame shift drive you put on increased frame shift drive range, which is cool. Life support 4D, it's a D in it. Uh, power distributor, that's the same. So, it's got weapon focus power distributor, the sensors 6A. Um, uh, optional. I went for a 6C bio shield generator with modifications of reinforced shields because, you know, we'll have a guardian shield if you, you know, don't have it locked it. Power reinforcement package. I'd put a 60 on there. I don't know why there's no 60. Yeah, put a 60 on here. Not 5D, but, um, uh, two hold, three hull reinforcements. 5D, uh, that's 60. Pretend that's 60. These two are 5D, this is 4D hull reinforcement, cargo rack, I mean it's handy to have cargo rack I guess, but you can replace that with a hull reinforcement, module reinforcement, and then docking computers. But now I'm going to hop into my um, Corvette and show you how to, um, well, where to go and what to do. So fire groups, I'd have them all as one, and then shield cell banks as two. So the system you need to go to, farm your um, combat rank is Astro. Once we are at Astro, I'd recommend set a filter and only put signal sources. You see all these? These are um, Thargoid sites, but you don't go to any of them. I'll show you in just a second. So go to the nav beacon. Now when I first did this, I had no idea where the fucking nav beacon was. I was looking all over the gaff, but I never looked on the radar. So just in case any of you guys make this mistake, I'll show you where the nav beacon is. So once we're here, the nav beacon isn't in the circle, it's that white box there, so it is this thing here. I don't know why it's not in there. The first time I came here, I was just trying to look for the nav beacon in this fucking little circle. So let's jump out. Now, here's where the fun begins. Oh, I didn't crash into the nav beacon, no! So what we want to go to is signal, is um, non-human signal sources, threat 4, this. Non-signal sources, threat 4. Go to these, these will spawn four to eight Thargoids, depending on, there's no depending, it's just randomly spawns. If you get lucky, you'll get eight, but eight is a bit hard for the um, crate map too, so you might need a bit skilled. So once we're here, deploy your weapons, slow right down, and select the th any Thargoids if it's got four. If there's eight Thargoids, look for the regenerating ones, because they regenerate for all the Thargoid buddies. Just shoot them. And with the Xeno scanner, it automatically uh, scans them. And without it, you won't be able to see how much health they've got or what um, variant they are. Okay. 
so you see that incoming caustic missile so this is where the uh, shield bank cells come in handy shield cell banks even so what you do is you need to overheat and so you press this shield cell bank and it will cause you to overheat dissipating the um, caustic damage what caustic damage is it, it damages your ship over time and it's it's not good and you see my caustic damage is gone because when you do get caustic damage your um, health your um, health bar there turns yellow and it starts slowly going down it's it's quite sad if you don't have any shield cell banks here we go that is a four elite killed so usually i jump out and go to the other um, Human signals, or if you need materials, these drop rare materials. So I'll show you now. So weapon components, you can just simply scoop them up. I think they're for engineering. I don't know. Uh, you see my body there, yellow. It's pulsating. That means I've got caustic damage. So let me just. By launching that shield cell bank, it gets rid of the caustic damage. Once you've depleted all your ammo, just simply set filters to fleet carrier. I usually go to this one here, 7 out of 7 open all services. It's always here. It has, you can repair, refuel, do all that shit here. So as you docked, <coughs> just repair and all that. Fuck <coughs> off. Fucking sneezing can. Da -da. And our redemption office, I'd probably save it for... I mean, you can redeem it here, but I'd recommend doing it somewhere else, like at a proper station.